Hi hey guys. Go ahead. The um, success on third down, all season, but really these last three games, what are some of the keys to that? And especially when you, you're not an explosive team, the importance of converting third down. Yeah, it's, a, it's very important. I'm probably just staying ahead of the sticks for a second down. And it always goes to that. That's kind of the, the common sense answer. But then also there's been some stuff with Pat using his legs. Conceptually, if something's not there, I think he does a good job of eyes down and then how can I make something happen with my feet? And then almost like you see, whether it's first, second, third down, he also now um, entices the defense. They got to stop him. And now he does a good job of still kind of playing that go throw or go type deal with the line of scrimmage where you either go and run, you throw it, or all of a sudden they think you're going to do that and then he runs and gets a first down. So it's a combination of all of that, but I'll go back to the start first and second down, staying ahead of that, the sticks, and then eliminating penalties. Similar, I guess, to that question, Pat has just looked more comfortable these past two weeks. What do you find has maybe led to some of that? Well, I think that for, for Pat, um, I think it's – something for him as far as like the, the run, you notice the last several weeks, the run game has really been, I mean, we've been running the ball a lot. I feel like there's a little bit of an identity that's being created here as we get to the middle of the season. You, sometimes that identity happens instantly, a couple of weeks in, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, I feel like maybe that's the case of, not just for the offense, but for the team in general, of how, how we feel like we can win this year. and. When you protect the football, you don't have turnovers, you don't have penalties on offense, and you score touchdowns like those three out of the last four drives we had last week. Uh, football, can, it can be fun on offense, and you can score point, defense, et cetera. And I feel like we're, we're really getting that identity. Matt, related to the, just related to the point of identity, what's enabled you guys to be so adaptable? You know, some, some significant flux at skill positions and all that, and, and it seems like you're just always evolving. Probably the mentality um, that, that Coach Reed has, no matter who it is, I, I say this and I mean it, uh, it, he doesn't care and we don't care. Whoever's out there, we, we put it on us that we gotta, we got to stay together, we got to do what's best for the players, whoever it is. We believe in those guys, we hope they believe in us, and then let's go stay positive and make things happen. And guys have done that. They've been able to step in. Some guys have had prior history that we know with Juju and, and Kareem. But there's other guys, too, that, uh, that are going to have to step up. But the, they feel the belief, and Coach Reed has the belief in his players and coaches. We all feel that, and it just, it's something that just organically grows. And just with that, I mean, you're, you're really not blowing anybody out, but as long mm -hmm. as it doesn't matter, I mean, does it make you feel like, oh, we, we have so many different ways to win now? Is that, is that been something that's come of this? I think it has. I think for sure. I think it gives you an idea of knowing that the games that you go into – you have confidence and trust that no matter whether you're losing by a couple touchdowns, whether you're winning by a couple, and this game is, it's a one score game in the end in the NFL. So how are you gonna win? Is it defense? Is it via special teams? Or is it with offense in an overtime drive to win it and not give them the ball? Or is it a, a four minute drive to end the ball with victory formation? And so probably here, although it hasn't been the fantasy numbers on offense, like we've talked about, it's well documented, the one thing is, is we're winning games, and I think we're learning how to win games different ways, and that's so important when you get down the road in other games. Matt, Matt um, looking back at the Tampa game, you guys weren't getting much done with the running game in the first half, and then that first possession, the second half was three and out, all passes. Mm -hmm. What told you at that point, okay, we can go back to the running game here and we can make it work this time? Well, yeah, I, I think – Stating the obvious is we went three and out with three passes. And so then I think naturally you just kind of go to, okay, let's, let's get into running the ball a little bit, see what happens with the run game. And when we came back to the run game, we were getting some chunks and we were getting, whether it's four or eight yards, they were positive gains, which then opens up those, those pass plays. So I think it was probably a little bit of that. And then also it doesn't hurt either having those big old linemen come over uh, to the sideline every now and then and, and let you know, hey, man, let's get this thing going. They want to put it on their shoulders. We love that, too. So that happens a lot. Um, you never want to see that change. But it was kind of that mode right then and there. I think we all felt like, okay, they even might know that we're going to run the ball, but they got to stop us. On that front, when you're, when you're in a game like that and, you know, everything's happening, you guys are calling plays, what, what is the little, is there a little checks and balances where someone says, you know, we haven't run the ball in a long time. How, how does that kind of work? 
No, there's not checks and balances with, I mean, there's a feel to that, but I think one of the beautiful parts of our, our team, our players, uh, and I'm speaking from the offensive side of the ball, is in, in moments where there might be a little bit of a struggle or a little bit of a pause in, um, in or not pause, but a, uh, a stall in the offense, what I love is when guys come to the sideline and they all want the ball. I think that that's great. You know, whether it's O linemen want to run the ball, or or it's the running back wants to run the ball, or wide receivers want to catch the ball, quarterback wants to throw the ball. There's a lot that goes on, but when you have guys that in those moments that want the ball, that's a good thing. And so when you get to those moments, and then we we go ahead and get some rhythm going, it it can be pretty good because uh, you get guys that really want to be out there and help us win different ways. We talked about chemistry between the quarterback and the pass catchers, but in your offense, it's almost a triangle chemistry with Bill Hopkins, Mahomes, Hopkins, and Kelsey, and mm -hmm. all between. How have you seen that be almost baked in with DeAndre and his experience? Does, does he seem to think the same way that Kelsey and, and Mahomes do? Oh, for sure. Uh, there's There has been an instant synergy with uh, with Pat and, and DeAndre, instant. And um, sometimes those take a lot more for some guys than others, but he's come in here and has just picked up. And when I say that, I, I don't use the term lightly, but th these guys are really um, – Pat and, and, and D-Hop are really thinking the same way on certain routes, especially in zone, which is crazy because it doesn't normally always happen like that. It normally takes time. But from, from the first really practice, second practice, till our last game, there's some stuff in there that, he, that they're putting on tape that makes it tough, especially when you put Kels on the same side or other side that thinks the same way as long as him and Pat have been doing it. That's tough. And then you get the run game going and – these guys are seeing it, and, and even even Jay Watt, right? Jay Watt had a great play on third down, a couple great plays on third down where he's getting open in zone. And so uh, it's really neat to see when guys are thinking like Pat. And for D-Hop, he's been doing it a long time, and it, it's been instant with him. Last one, Todd. Um, Broncos defense looks like they're playing really well. What are the biggest challenges they're going to have for you? Well, I mean, I go back to, you know, the last couple of years, but specifically last year. I mean, they – they had that, that rough game against the Dolphins where they gave up a bunch of points, but they came right on back, and, and Coach Joseph uh, does a heck of a job schematically. He, he, he's familiar um, with what we do, but those players play hard, and, and they know the scheme. They don't do a lot of crazy stuff, but they, they do what they do um, really well. I think, you know, you look at the numbers statistically. Again, Baltimore, um, you know, got, got after them in certain ways, different things that they did, but that defense plays hard, and they, and they play fast, and so... It's a division game, you know. They these teams uh, know a little bit about you, so it'll be a strap it up and, and uh, a fist fight in the backyard. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.